So we're hosting the, the Gym West Challenge here uh, at Kissing Tree Golf Club, uh, Sunday, Monday, um, the 23rd, 24th. Um, as always, we have a, a really strong field coming. Uh, so we're hosting teams from um, all over the country, really. Uh, Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma State, Houston, UTSA, Colorado, Ohio State. So. It's a very, very good field uh, from all over the country, and uh, we're super excited to, to compete on a, on a national level. Um, we're very thankful to uh, Jim and Carol West and their foundation for what they're doing for uh, women's golf, uh, just in general, uh, putting on uh, this tournament, it's, it's always one of the best tournaments um, in the country all year. So uh, we're very thankful to the West family for their support of, of women's golf and uh, Texas State Athletics as well as our um, women's golf team. Coach, how would you assess your program right now at this stage of the year as you prepare for the tournament this weekend? Uh, I think we're, we're we're trending up. I think we uh, we have some experience on this team now. We've we've been very young the last couple of years. Uh, we still don't have any seniors, but we're gonna play uh, three juniors in the lineup at this tournament. So uh, I think um, my expectations are that we're gonna play well. What would you say are, are the strengths of this team, and what areas do you feel as if they need to improve, and you want to see them perform better at, at this particular tournament? So we have a lot of firepower on the team. We have the um, ability to shoot very low scores, make a lot of birdies. Uh, we hit it far. Uh, so we can go very low, um, but we also make some mistakes. So we're trying to, to limit those mistakes a little bit to make basically more birdies and, and less bogeys. How does this course typically play? Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of a different setup uh, from most uh, tournaments we play. It's, it's a shorter golf course, and uh, it's set up a little bit more like, like a, a men's golf tournament, actually. Uh, the, the scores are low. The, um, the par fives are reachable. We have two reachable par fours. So it's, um, it's a very exciting tournament. Um, we purposely do that every year because we want to see uh, low scores. We want the teams and the girls to have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a different tournament in many ways, and course setup uh, is also a little different. What does this tournament give the program the opportunity uh, to do in terms of, um, as you said, competing against some other great programs, but also uh, the fact that you're the ones hosting a tournament like this? What does that say about Texas State women's golf? Yeah, so we, we play, um, we have some of the best teams in the country here, and we go and play uh, their tournaments too. So we play at a very high national level. We play, um, we play a lot against the Big 12 all, all year. We play SEC teams. Uh, so to host this, it's a game changer for our program. So it's it opens up opportunities that we wouldn't have without this tournament, definitely. All right, so the West family impact on this program is pretty pretty big, right? We'll dive more into that. Like, what does that mean to a women's golf program to have someone come in and kind of do this kind of level of support? Yeah, so it's uh, their support is um, it, it's hard to even describe how big that support is because we, uh, like I said, we we compete against the Big Twelve all the time. Um, we play a Power Five schedule, and um, it's because of their support, uh, both with putting this tournament on uh, financially. Um, they. Um, basically funded and built our practice facility that we use every day. So um, they're a huge part of our program. And um, um, we host a tournament with uh, them, the foundation. Austin West is doing um, a, a lot of the organization of everything, putting this on. So um, 
they're our our biggest supporters and um we c couldn't really do it without them last one so this tournament is not just the two days of golf there's the other stuff that goes on what's your personal highlight of this tournament usually at year to year yeah so it's uh it's a four day uh perfect conclusion of everyone's fall schedule it's um everyone it's about having a great time uh having a lot of fun um uh friday night when everybody travels here it's, it's karaoke night and um i think the highlight is when uh jim gets up on the stage and and, and sings with the team i think that's uh it's a very uh that doesn't happen at other tournaments so i think uh it's um we're just having a good time, a lot of fun, th all the four days. Sometimes sports gets a little too serious. So I think um, uh, that sets our tournament apart for sure.